Hi, and welcome to Val's Visions and Designs. Um, since Halloween is coming soon, I knew that these cute little frames would be back out. And last year, I made a Christmas gnome using one of these frames. And this year, I want to make a scarecrow gnome uh, making one of these frames or, or using one of these frames. So uh, what I've been playing with so far is I came up with this little hat but I decided I wanted the hat to be just a little bit longer. Uh, and then I cut the frame the same way that I cut the uh, frame to make the Christmas gnome. And I'll link that below uh, today in the description so you can see how I did that one. Um, what I've been using for his beard is a combination of, this is just the Dollar Tree nautical rope uh, that you get in the packs and this one is nine and a half feet and what I do to it is take it and pull it apart and unravel it so that you get more pieces to use uh, in the uh, the uh, beard and then I have a real pretty yarn this is kind of a and again I'm just using what I have this is a multicolored uh, yarn and actually I have the SKU number for this one uh, this one I think I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's Burn It Baby Blanket uh, Yarn. And let's see if it has a name. I don't see that it really has a name. But it's a baby blanket and the weight on it is, let's see, 8 millimeters. I'm not really sure. I'm not much of a seamstress. It's <laughs> it's uh, 10.5 ounces. So it's just the yarn inspirations and it's the multicolor with the beige and the white. And I really just like that. So it kind of helps thicken up this beard a little bit without using as much rope. And then I'm also just adding in a little bit of the raffia. And this is from Dollar Tree. I picked this up not too long ago. I didn't have any of this. So um, I'm going to show you how I did the hat first, because even if you don't want to make a gnome, this is a real cute little way to make a little hat if you wanted to make a scarecrow embellishment for your wreath. So what I did was I took all of the tinsel off one of these frames, and this time I outlined it with the uh, cuff on it instead of the cuff off. So I just took brown felt, and I have these... Uh, brown felt that I order off of Amazon. It's a heavier texture. It's not so featherweight. And I doubled it. And then I just laid my frame on top of it and just outlined with my marker. And I left myself about a good inch all the way around it so that when I glue it and I turn it inside out, then I'll still have a good enough sized hat that will fit over the frame. So that's what I've done here, and I'm about ready to glue it. So I just try to get it as close to matching as I can. Uh, it's better if you try not to move it first, but I did. I moved it. So then I'm just taking my little, this is my little favorite uh, glue gun, guys. This is the Rilla Gorilla uh, mini glue gun that has the dual temperature on it. I just like it because it puts out a, a smaller amount of glue uh, rather than my big one. So you want to run your bead of glue just really close to the edge. That way you're not wasting material. And then just press the two pieces together. And I have, I keep a little spatula in here just so I can press those down together. And then of course you're going to have to let it dry for just a little bit um, before you go back in and flip it inside out. And then all I did was take a couple of other cute little ideas, uh, some ribbon to make a cuff, a Dollar Tree flower, and a couple little patches with, uh, and then added a little button to it. And I'll explain it more as I make this hat. So it will have to dry for just a little bit once I get this uh, glue together. But again, just kind of keep your glue close to the edges. Um, and I had the bad side of my mat showing. So that way I won't get glue all over the good side of my mat because you're going to have a little bit of glue that's going to eat, you know, ooze out the sides because you are making it so close to the sides. But you do want to make sure that you get it all glued together. 
Uh, you could do this in black, you could do this in yellow, you know, just whatever color uh, you want. I know that um, Walmart also sells the packages of the felt, uh, and I know I have picked those up from there before. They're the, um, I have one, guys. Hang on, I'll show it to you. So you can pick this up in their crafting section, and I always just pick up a pack every now and then just to have it. Uh, it's a felt fabric. So this is one of them that I got from Walmart and it's 36 by 72 inches. And I think they're like $4.99 for uh, a good size thing of felt. So that's where I usually get my felt from if I don't get it off Amazon. So I'm gonna finish gluing this, let it dry and come back and then we'll decorate it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I think my hat has dried. So before I turn it inside out, I just kind of run my hand uh, through it to make sure I didn't miss uh, gluing any section on it and then it's just a matter of just pulling it inside out so you don't have any of that glue side showing and again, that's why you want to give yourself a little bit of extra just so you can uh, still have room to get it on your on the little frame and the corners are always a little bit tricky to push out but just kind of work that corner out. I think I've got it pretty close. Now what I do is I'm not sure yet how long I want it to be. So that's why I have not, I've left it really long, way longer than I'm gonna need it. So the next thing I do is I kind of try to flatten it. And uh, I just have a little tiny mini uh, curling wand that uh, I just kind of take these seams and just kind of go down and press them just so that they'll flatten out just a little bit uh, that way the hat won't be quite as bulky so I just find these very simple uh, to use and uh, then the other thing that I do with these and you see how much flatter that's already making it is this is one of the little Dollar Tree flowers you can do the same thing with these to get these to uh, flatten back out because you know how they get all curled up is just use one of these little curling irons on them and uh, that will help to open it up to where it's not quite so closed up. Now most of this stuff I have left over from last year but I knew all of this stuff was getting put out so I wanted to redo this video um, now that the right season was here and you could actually get a hold of the materials if you wanted to make one. Um, so that's just something that just requires a little time and a little patience and of course I cut it off the stem and then make sure when you glue that you lift up this little piece right here because this will pop off and make sure you glue that little piece on there because once you cut off that piece of that stem uh, your little piece is not going to stay on so that's also something you want to make sure um, that you have glued and then we'll put this glue part on the hat itself. All right, so the, 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 the thing is just to continue to go around and flatten and smooth uh, the seam. And of course, if you're a seamstress, you can sew your pieces together, but I am not a seamstress. So uh, this is just the way that I have found it easier to do is just do a little bit of glue. And like I said, this would be a cute hat just a scarecrow hat if you wanted to um, uh, just make a scarecrow. So I've also made a little bit bigger one that I had to do a little bit more detail on um, for an upcoming private tutorial that I'm doing with my group um, using the Unique in the Creek character board uh, with the cute little, you know, scarecrow smiley face that sits in the middle. And you can't find these hats right now. Everybody has sold out of them. So it was a matter of just going to have to learn how to make some of these things ourselves. So you can see this works really well um, to help flatten out the hat. So that gives you a lot more width in it because you're going to need the width to be sure that it's going to fit. And then here's my frame. Let me make sure it is going to fit. Now I thought it would probably be best to go ahead and keep, sorry, this is very messy, keep that little corner cut off. 
um, just so I don't have to fight with it to get this to slide over. And of course, I know I have a whole lot more hat than I need, but I just wanted to make sure I had plenty. And then we'll fold up this little cuff and uh, straighten that out when I cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten it, and I've got to already re-glue it, but that's okay. That, that piece just came loose, uh, and that's where I'm going to be folding up the cuff. I just wanted to be sure that it was actually going to fit. And then I'm just going to continue to let this dry, flatten out these seams so that it's nice and smooth, and then determine how big I want it, how long I need it to be to cover up my beard, and then decorate it. So let me work on this a little bit more and then I'll be back again. Okay, so I've measured my hat and I've cuffed it. I just simply turned it up about where it came down snug enough. Now I may still have a little bit more on here than I really need, but this is where I think I'm gonna go with it. So all I did was take, and I think I'm gonna use this time, this color ribbon. Um, this is a good time to use things that you have left over in your craft room. And you're just going to glue a piece of ribbon around the hat to give it that cute little cuff look. So I didn't carry it all the way across the back, but maybe I should because, you know, this is going to come down over all of our mechanics. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out. This is, like I said, leftover ribbon I had. Uh, I actually think I got it in a grab bag one year, uh, one of the uh, AC Moore's grab bags when they were going out of business. So everything doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Uh, just kind of get it how you want it. And then just glue down, again, just glue down your ribbon. So I'm just going to put a little glue. I would advise using a thicker ribbon, um, a good canvas ribbon, just so it doesn't, uh, show through the glue doesn't show through on your hat because this one did just a little bit my um my ribbon wasn't quite as thick as it should be so you can kind of see the glue in some spots so that's kind of why I decided this time I'd get a little bit um stronger piece of ribbon and I love the stripes I think this is a cute little look so that's all I did for the border is just put a little band on it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue it all the way around on the back. Just so the back of the hat looks cute too. Because I do want it to um, camouflage all of the mechanics of everything that I have done putting in the beard. I just love gnomes. I don't know if they're totally out uh, or not, but I just think they're so cute, uh, and I couldn't resist making a, a fall scarecrow gnome. I've never done one of those before, so uh, when I go back and I watch some of my older videos uh, to see what I did before, it's always fun to say, oh, I could do that this way this time, so that's kind of what I've been doing, so I'm just going to run the glue all up and down this ribbon, it's not going to match up exactly uh, because there's a little bit of a curve to the hat, but it's pretty close. All right. And then I just glued on the flower about right in here. And I'm thinking even about adding a little bit of raffia, a little raffia bow to the hat. That would be really cute. Uh, if you took a couple strands of your raffia and just tied a little cute little bow uh, with it and maybe put a little piece of this even maybe coming out of the cuff of the hat, uh, that would be cute. Um, and then I just did for the ribbons up top, um, I bought a pair of these scissors, oh, quite a while ago, guys, that make the little jagged edges because I don't know if you can tell it, but I have a little jagged edge on this hat. So I just took a piece of this ribbon, which I think came from, I think this one may have come from Michael's. Uh, it's got the little waves in it. And when I cut with this pair of scissors, uh, it gives just that little bit of a rickety rack uh, cut on it. So I cut off the seams too, because I wanted this cute little jaggedy edge. 
see about how big it's going to need to be. It's just basically decorating it the way that you want to. And then you can come back in with a piece of your other ribbon. Um, I have some plain burlap ribbon. This would be cute. A little piece of this. Uh, making our little patches on this hat. So can you see these? I, I think I picked these up from, um, I want to say I got them at Michael's quite a while ago. So you can just glue all of these little goodies on. I'm just going to glue my flower right on that little border. Now I do see that I've got, sorry about that guys, a little bit of glue that set, put, seep through right here. So I may have to camouflage that with a little piece of raffia. <laughs> so that's okay because it can get, you know, hot glue and felt. They glue together real simple, but they sure will seep through. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this patch. A little bit further on that corner. Of course, I get glue all over me. I, I do love having the low temperature glue. Uh, you, you may want to have on your glue fingers when you're doing this. Um, I find I have a hard time working with those, so a lot of times I just don't put them on, and then I use my little uh, spatula here to, to press everything down, so I'm just going to kind of angle that on there like that. Let that glue, and then I just have some cute little buttons that I got from Dollar Tree. You can get the little uh, container of the buttons. And I just thought these were super cute. You can just put a little button on his hat. Uh, I've got different colors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a little button. And then keep pulling off all the glue webs. And I do think I wanna add a little bit of raffia. And then to get this corner up top to have a little bit of fullness in it because his body or his hat, I'm sorry, his head is going to leave that little piece up here voided. So I do think it's cute just to go ahead and take, you could take a sack. This is just some scrap felt that I have left over. I don't think it's going to be an issue. You don't want anything too bulky, so you may want to do that uh, stuffing it after you get it on your gnome. Right now, I'm just going to tuck that little piece right up there in that little tiny corner. And uh, I am going to go ahead and make a little bow with some of this raffia. This is so much fun to use, but boy, what a mess. So I'm just gonna make a couple little loops with this and then take a little piece to tie it. Probably should have had a little piece already cut. Looks like this one will actually pull apart a little bit more. So I'm gonna pull it apart a little bit more and grab a piece of string or twine just to tie my little bow, uh, here's some twine. So I'll just cut a piece of this. Now I can go back and make my little bow again. I'll just tie this around it. Yeah, you can shred this out just a little bit more if you want a little bit more of the raffia showing. Uh, that, that loop's actually much smaller than the other loop. So you can just kind of peel it apart, which is kind of fun. Shred it out a little bit more. And I do think I'll use another button. I think the buttons are super cute. So I'm just going to peel it and open up that raffia just a little bit more so I have a little bit more flair. Now I can put it right here where I have that little bit of seepage and then add a little button on top of that. 
So either way, you end up getting a real cute little scarecrow hat. Mostly from items that you probably already have. Uh, you may not have felt. Now I have not glued down this border, um, but I think once I'm positive, this is all gonna fit um, on the frame then I'll probably glue down this little piece of border, but I'm hoping that the back will be clean enough that it will also look good when it comes down. So here's two different versions of a scarecrow hat. Um, and then I'll show you how I'm making my gnome. Um, I think last year I gave you all these different dimensions and how many inches to cut. And uh, I started off doing that and then I finally decided it really didn't matter because you can cut it to angle it into the beard, you know, the length that you want it. So I've been adding to the row, let's see, it's right, uh, right where you have the little piece. Let me grab this piece and show you where I'm adding it. I decided to add three rows just because it was a little bit finer. So I'm tying it to this, por this portion this portion and this portion. So I think I was doing about 14 inches in the center and then 12 inches and then about 10 inches. And I just take this Dollar Tree rope and I'm just making a slip knot. So I fold it in half and then I'm just taking it. This is kind of a smaller piece, taking it, running the loop up and then push your two tails in and then tie it. And that gives you, and you can continue to fray this even more once you get it on here. Uh, that's one thing I thought, this jute rope would be perfect because it always does that when you don't want it to. So I thought this time I want it to. And then I'm, so I'm adding a piece of yarn, again, just to help a little bit with the bulk, bulking it up. Uh, doing the same fashion. I think this one's cut at about 22 inches maybe and then just adding a loop of this into it and again I'm just making a slip knot just pushing it through and then tying it on and then the raffia is a little bit trickier to do but if you can get it to be in strands you can do the same thing. You can make a slip knot with this as well just push it, that's really more like two extra pieces. There we go. Just push it through. And of course you can use, there's lots of different things that you can use to make beards. Uh, like I said, I just happen to have a lot of this already in my stash. So I thought, why not, you know? So here's, here's where I'm going. With the uh, with his beard, so I have the raffia, and then I have the the jute twine uh, from Dollar Tree, and then some of my yarn, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish bringing it all the way up across here. That should be more than enough, and continuing to shred this out to where it's thinner pieces. Uh, this is that Dollar Tree raffia, so that's where that came from. So I'm going to add just a few more pieces up here and then we'll come back and glue on the hat. Alrighty, so I have got the hat pulled down over my gnome. I've got it pulled down tight enough uh, that it's going to stay in place and that I've covered up most of the mechanics. Now I left a lot of this in just for support, um, depending on if you're going to hang it or use it as a wreath embellishment. And then I just kind of wrapped a little piece of a pipe cleaner around the inside. And then now I can just kind of make a little hanger right here with this little piece that came out. I'm just kind of wrapping it around itself. Uh, you know, it just depends on, you know, how you want to use yours. So uh, this is so cute. Now for his nose, I'm using, these are the smooth 1.8 inch foam balls. Uh, I think I may have got these off Amazon, but I just cut one in half and then I'm just going to cover it with a panty, a panty, I'm sorry, 
a foot liner <laughs> that I get from Dollar Tree. So you just basically just wrap this around your gnome's little nose and then just pull it nice and tight. Make sure the seam is in the back. And then you just cut off the excess. Uh, usually I get a tiny little rubber band. Let me see if one of these little baby rubber bands will work. These little tiny ones we get from uh, Dollar Tree. You know, it's really hard to try to make a craft this involved in under 30 minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I know I have to skip a lot of steps, and I can't show you every second of what I'm doing, but I do think this has come out so cute, and I especially love the hat. Okay, so one of those little rubber bands, the little tiny ones that you get from Dollar Tree, that will hold that. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess of the nylon. Almost had it all. I do like working with these smooth foam balls much better. Now he's, his nose is kind of going to blend in because there's already so much beige. So I just have a really inexpensive blush. Uh, that I brought in here. So I'm just going to pink up his little nose just a little bit. And just take the blush and put it right on your little uh, nose. And glue it where you want it. There's plenty of overhang. So let me just get a good look and make sure I've got it centered. I just love making these gnomes. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put a lot of hot glue on there. And then we'll just push it right up inside. And then I think I'll tap a little bit of hot glue right on that cuff, too. Take off the excess glue. And really, that's about all I think I'm going to do to my little fella. Um, oh, if you wanted to stuff your hat, uh, I should have done that before I glued the nose. You could definitely stuff it. Maybe we'll just stuff it in the back to give it a little body. I've just got a, a, a Dollar Tree sack. You could put that in or your scrap little piece of felt that I had. And then tap a little bit of glue, I think, to the back. So I'm going to go ahead and tap a little bit of glue back here. Just make sure that that little hat's going to stay in place. It's a good snug fit if you make it the way that I showed you. So you really don't have to worry about it, uh, the hat coming back off. It's very tight. Uh, I had to push really very gently to get it to, to go back down. May come in with a tiny little bit more blush. But I think this is about the right size nose for this little fella. And I've got to figure out now if I want to make a wreath to go with him because I think he's really turned out cute. So there is my gnome, guys, uh, all um, on the Dollar Tree uh, frame. You can use it again as a wreath embellishment. You could use it just as a cute little door hanger, just like it is. Uh, I wished I would have put just a little more stuffing up in this up here before I sealed it because I can see a little bit of that frame coming through. And I might can still squeeze my hand up in there and get a little bit, even if I push it around from the back. But I hope that this has been fun. I've had fun making him. I think he's turned out super cute. Uh, can't go wrong, you know, mainly Dollar Tree stuff, a little bit of ribbon, not expensive project at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks now.